hello it's Sarah and I am working on some more wood burning projects um, so let's just see this is what I had shared last time I was working on these two little I guess they're doorknob holder you know things that you hang on your doorknob this is a pattern that I got um, from Tombow.com and it was uh, to do some coloring with my Tombow marker so I had this and it's all see that's the printout you get and then I like entangled inside them and colored them with my markers um, but what I decided to do was to trace that onto a piece of wood and then I wood burned it but on this one I actually colored it with colored pencils now I had painted, and I did this one too, I might as well show you this, because I'm just, I'm burning the heck out of stuff because I want to try and see what I can do. This, I never sanded it, which that was a mistake. You know, I'm learning as I go, um, and I used metallic paint on this one because I, I wanted it to kind of look like inlay, right? Um, eh, not so much. I don't love it. I think stains would be better. I think I'd like to work with stains, so... I, um, I did this one. This is just one of those dollar frames that you get at Michael's. And I just did my Zentangle pattern that I did on my ATCs, kind of. I did a little couple of hills, a little house. I didn't put a window, a path, you know, and then I Zentangled in it. Home is where the heart is in the cloud. And then I colored it very lightly with colored pencils. And these are just, um, I've been using the Artist, Fantasia Artist Premium Color Pencils. These are from um, AC Moore. So, but I think they're, they're great colory, uh, colory, um, quality, and you get a lot of colors. That's what I wanted to say. 36 colors, and I think I used a coupon and got it. It's, I've had it a while. Um, but I wanted to see what adding color in a different way and this is just very subtle and it doesn't take away from the burning so that's why I did this one because I had done both of these and I liked them with just the burning but then when you add the color especially on this one because there was a lot going on because it was entangled I subtly colored the flower pink some green on the leaves and kind of made my dragonfly like a tealy blue but I also added Wink of Stella which is this glitter uh, I don't I guess it's considered an ink it's like a glitter pen um, so I'm loving that I'm still combining different crafts you know when I try something new I'm bringing in other things so that's what I'm trying to do for the most part what I'm finding with the wood burning is it's a lot of realism, a lot of realistic painting, or I'm sorry, um, artwork. So say um, animals, a lot of animals, because I think it's fun to do the fur and all that stuff with the wood burner. But what I want to do is make it crafty. So the, the thing that drew me to it was just doing the wooden spoons, because this stuff takes so quick to do. Um, it really takes no time at all basically you heat up your tool and you're ready to go so on this one I tried to do some shading with my shading tip and it still isn't what I'm looking for but I ended up ordering the coal wood um, burning tool um, and so that should be here soon. I ordered it from Amazon. I ended up getting the bigger of the two sets. It's like one, there was a one set for 130 and it comes with three different tips. So you're gonna get all the tips you really need because you have a liner, a skew, which I don't know how to describe that, but it, it, you can make straight lines and curvy lines. And the liner or a dot tool is more for writing words and a shader. So. I'm looking forward to seeing if I can really um, get the, the results that I'm looking for, but I'm still going to play. So today what I've done is I have, I have lots of wood in my stash, you guys, because I painted for years, and I ha have accumulated this stuff over time and when things are on sale and with coupons, but I'm pretty sure I bought this 
at either Michael's or AC Moore, one of the local craft stores. It's already been routed and it's probably pine. So pine isn't ideal. I think birch wood is probably more preferable. Um, there are other woods that burn smoother, but I'm just working with what I have. And I feel like most of the stuff that I've tried so far, especially like these, this is um, pine, I think. It might be birch wood. I'm really not sure. Uh, so I'm going to try and do this. Now, I've, what I've done is I've taken this design. Let me zoom back up. And I've traced the entire thing onto tracing paper because I want to place it on this plaque and kind of arrange it how I want to. I've also stamped out a butterfly. I want I want it. These are going to be too, this is too big. This is too intricate. I think I'm going to use this one. I like the flow of it and I may even add a hummingbird. Now I did do this little, these are stampend, stampenda stamps. I did this little hummingbird with um, I use the tip I think I just used this the cone tip I think it's called it's kind of just like the pointiest one there is and I think I think maybe I should wait because that is a fine the detail on that is really like fine it's feathers so for this project maybe I'll leave the hummingbird off but I think I am going to add a butterfly so it's mainly going to be like I think I'll put the dragonfly and the butterfly and flowers. So I'll have, you know, maybe it'll just go like that. And then I'll put the, I want to put, maybe I'll put one at each end. Something like that. I think I'll put a flower over here. But anyway, I'm just going to arrange this and then put the butterfly here and put a flower there. So I'll come back when I have this all arranged. But this is, I'm just trying to um, make this crafty. So now I'm combining my stamps and tracing patterns, which I think have been um, all along. I went down and I looked through all my painting, my painting magazines and my painting books and I was looking for cool crafty designs that I could use. And I mean, it's endless. There's so much I couldn't even choose. Um, but I do want to start to come up with my own design. So that's why I wanted to do this because I designed this. I'm not thrilled with it because I would have preferred to have a, a, a window and more. It maybe wasn't the shape. This frame didn't suit the design. But anywho, um, I want to play around with that. And then I'll do classes and tutorials on this too when I start to get better. Um, I'm also making sure that I'm sanding everything because I I hadn't sanded some of the things and I just started burning and it doesn't burn the same. So I'll be back in a minute and show you what it looks like. I don't even know if you can see this, but what I decided to do was place the dragonfly and the butterfly first where, where I want them on the wood. And then I'm going to come back and um, see there's the dragonfly. I like him going in that direction. I was kind of using this as a reference. I like that. And then I think the butterfly is going to face up kind of here. And then I'm going to fill in with the flower. So I'll take my tracing and I'll go around. But for if you're going to use stamps, you can just use a light dye ink. This one is the tea dye stain, um, tea dye by Ranger, the Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And you ink it up, and I'm just going to place this somewhere about here. Give it some pressure. <clears throat> and you can always, see that shows up real nice, so you can see that. Um, so if you're using a stamp, which on this one, wait, not this one, this one, I use this Stampenda stamp set. I'll show you. Hold on, let me just get my... So these are, Stampendous has these uh, type of stamp sets. They're actually quite large. So I used the smaller butterfly on the other one, but these are pretty big, uh, not, not butterfly, uh, hummingbirds. Look how big these, look at this guy. Big stamps. So, and I even had this type of flower, which 
It doesn't have a name. It's just called hummingbirds, but it's some type of hummingbird flower that they like, right? And I could have done that on here, and it would have made it super easy to stamp it. But I really like the idea of this end tangle, so I wanted to do a flower that had a lot more room inside of it. So I chose these, and I'm going to zentangle them. I'm going to use these patterns, um, or some type of pattern. I'll figure it out, because I, I want to make it not look too muddy or full when, you're, when you would burn it. You don't want it to look too, you know, like these swirls. I'd really like to get them really intricate. I think I may wait for my, um, my new wood burning tool to come and use that. I'll play with it a little bit because the my favorite tip right now that I'm using with um, when I've done these is on the, uh, this is just the Walnut Hollow. It's not the VersaTool because I broke my VersaTool. This one is just, I forget what it's called. Did I keep the package? Oh yeah, here it is. It's called the Wood Burner, Creative Wood Burner Value Tool and it came with four tips. Um, and it has no heat um, settings. It's just one heat setting on and off. But my the favorite tip I like is the, uh, I think it's called, like, I call it the bullet tip. But what the heck is it called? The round one. It's the flow point. So I really like the flow point. It, it really does flow, meaning that I can write words. I wrote the words with it. I've done all this outlining and for the outlining of this I'm going to keep it nice and dark and then I think I'll go in and zentangle when I get my new one and um, it with fine lines and I think that'll look nice you know it'll be a nice contrast but if you're doing wood burning and you have a stamp that you like you can just stamp it on there with a light colored ink because for the rest of it I'm going to use this tracing I really just stamped these out on tracing paper too for placement. I kind of wanted to see if I could fit a hummingbird in there, what it would look like, you know. And I could still fit a hummingbird in here, you know that, but I think it's too much. I think the butterfly and the dragonfly are going to be plenty. And then I'm just going to fill in these empty spaces, um, but I'm going to have to trace them on with my graphite paper. Um, all right, and I'll come back and I'll show you the finished piece. I'll be right back. Okay, well that took a while, but I have pretty much got the design all over the place, so I'm going to start to burn. I have that flow tip in here, and I'm just going to hopefully mostly just do the outline, and um, so I'll do the butterfly. And hope for the best I hope because I mean that was a lot of work for it to just not work now or for the wood to be a little bit you know not working yeah which it seems like it's gonna be no it's all right like when I tried to burn on that uh, frame it was very uncooperative so I'm not sure if this is going to be an issue. Look, it looks very, um, it probably isn't the best wood. See, that's the thing. But so, you know what? It's still practice. See, I'm just using wood that I had and getting the practice. And I just want to see. I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's a little bumpy. I'm, I'm noticing it's bumpy. Like, I would like this to be super straight. And it's not super straight. It's bumpy. See how it... It goes down. And I'm trying to use very light pressure so that it, it doesn't skip across the wood. But, uh, you know, um, when you have the right tools... And, eh, see, there's, it, it's weird. Like, this wood has, I don't know if it's sap in there or something that, that the, the tip just doesn't go into. It won't burn it. There's something there. 
there's like a barrier that like blocks. So I'm going to go away and do it and I'll be back. Okay, I have to say it's disappointing because there's definitely something about this wood and I shared this in a different video. This is that birch wood and I really need to do something on here so that I can feel the difference because this does feel smooth but when I go over this everywhere let me come in and I'll show you I'm heating up uh, another tip that tip I'm gonna try the um, cone shaped tip because it's pointy and I'm gonna do the zentangle with that but um oops sorry the uh, look right here is a perfect you can see the wood grain the wood grain lines are going across there and every time I went over it it didn't burn it skipped skipped so and then I would get stuck in a hole it, it just was hard to get a consistent burn and it's frustrating so it skipped all the way around everywhere there's um, grain lines there's all those skips so from a distance it looks okay um, this is just because it's routed I really can't wait to get my new tool but the thing is I have to find some good wood Joe said they have poplar at um, like Home Depot so he's gonna get me a piece of poplar but this birch wood I'm gonna put some stuff on here I'm gonna trace a little bit of the pattern on here and I'm gonna put something like a hummingbird maybe I'll do the hummingbird design on here um, because this is so smooth oops sorry I'm zoomed in again and you can see the wood grain but it doesn't feel it feels totally smooth um, this and I sanded the heck out of it I took it down and put it on the sanding machine um, but you can definitely feel it it's just different and it's even like there's even like some type of slipperiness in there maybe it's the sap I don't know so all wood is not created equal and it does not burn consistently so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start zentangling this and I'll come back and show you the finished product all right here it is I like it I think it turned out good I made like a few design mistakes I would say this right here let me zoom in so this leaf I should have put you can't I, I, I have that tip in I'm probably gonna go over this and try and darken it but I should have put the stripe side of the leaf on this side because I made this all swirly so you know what I mean it would have separated that out um, I'm gonna add one more leaf over here because I just think it looks a little empty but I think it looks a little crowded over here so I think I am gonna use the colored pencils and I'm gonna color it in just like I did this one all right my yeah Maya's gonna paint my face in a minute it's gonna be awesome mm, but I do think I'm gonna do this while that's heating up I'm gonna grab my uh, <laughs> These are just like I said these uh, premium coloring pencils from um, these are actually from AC Mo AC Mo um, I want to do I want the dragonfly to be like a I want the wings to be like it's like a blue color but I know that is very pretty this is kind of lavendery mm -hmm. but I want like a green blue Maybe this one. This one? That's gorgeous, right? Yeah. Do you think? <clears throat> I can't remember what color I used on this one. This looks like it. I think I actually mixed a little bit of blue and a little bit of green. This one's pretty too. I think I'll use that for the leaves though. Mm -hmm. And then you just gently, it's just a very subtle change it's not like really dark I don't want to take away the burn look I don't want that all that beautiful brown I like that brown color that it burns to it's a pretty brown color it's like I don't know I kind of like it's it pretty. it's not like baby poo or anything let's see if I'm in the shot um 
But yeah, this was fun. And see this, to me, it's so much more crafty than when you just do a, a portrait or a, um, which they're amazing, don't get me wrong, but an animal or something. You know what I could do is body like a blue. See, this is way lighter. It's a different color. Mm -hmm. I think I colored, oh, you know what, I might have used this. That's the color I said. Oh, Jesus. See, you know what? Maybe I could sand it. Let me try. I'm probably going to mess it up now. No. I don't know, Maya. This is what I do. But I like this. Which one was it? That yeah, You use that one. This one's the bluer one. Yeah, that's the one. I like that much better from a dragonfly. See? I mean, I changed it. You can just go right over that, actually. It totally. It's a good mix. It is a good mix. It looks nice. I like it. All right, let's see if this is hot. Oh, dear. Oops. So I'm just going to put this leaf here. And what were we going to do? Swirly and Swirls lines? Swirls and lines. Let's see. I'll do lines this way. Mm -hmm. and swirls. See, this isn't the, the same bit that I used for the other ones, but so I can cute. still use it. Yeah, it's just a different width, like. Mm -hmm. But I like it. Thank you, Maya. You're my cheerleader. All right, I love that. All right, now that, all right, good. I think I'm happy with that, but I was going to, oopsie, I was just going to go over this section to see if I could get it to Stand out a little bit where I, I should have done it. Um, but yeah, Joe said he's going to get me some um, poplar tomorrow. It's poplar. Poplar is a different kind of wood, and I'm going to see how that burns. So for right now, I'm just going to turn off my gun. Okay, right. What? No. The pencils? I'm going to adjust. Are you going to color the whole thing? Um, I think I'm going to do his body. Oh, that's cute. Is this the right color? Yeah. But the wings look a bit different. Yeah. But see how that just makes it pop. Like it's not too bright. Yeah. It's subtle. If and the, then yeah. you know what I do? I put this on. This is called Wink Estella and it's just like a um a glitter. Yeah, I am, because look, this is in the shot. Thank you. She's producing my video. This is almost empty. But look, I just put that on there. That's shiny. To make it like uh, shimmery. I always think of dragonflies as shimmery. I don't know if they actually are shimmery. Their and, wings are. You know, I, I know because mm -hmm. they're like see through, right? Yeah. So I love it. I don't know if that has too much, <clears throat> but I am. I think I'm going to color it. Let's go up. I love it. Yeah, it zooms in and out. All right, you guys, so that's it. Maya's going to paint my face, and I'll be back. I'm going to share when I get my, I'm going to do an unboxing of my um, my new burning set. I'm so excited. It has shipped. So, all right, you guys, thanks for watching.